Jesus asked them, whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. As soon as he said unto them, I am he, they went back and fell on the ground. Jesus was bold like a lion and Jesus is the gold standard of Christianity and if you claim to be a child of God you have to be bold like a lion and you know what they say about lions lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep for you to become everything God has intended for you to become to reach the heights God has planned for you it demands boldness it demands boldness to be a child of God. It demands boldness to walk by faith and not by sight. To go where you've never walked before. It demands boldness to reach for what you've never reached for before. It demands boldness to win. It demands boldness to break chains. It demands boldness to fight when you're tired. It demands boldness to be above average. It demands boldness to be more than a conqueror. Boldness, boldness, boldness. I don't think you understand me. The door is open to those bold enough to knock. It says in the word of God, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. God, forgive us for not running to you, the healer. Lord, we thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that Lord, you are you our healer. That you are our healer. We praise you that you praise are near to the brokenhearted. Near you have promised to, to save the crushed in you spirit. Have promised to save the crushed you have told us in your word that you Lord, heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. But Father, would you help me today? Would but you help Father, us to help see, today, to see you as healer, to see you as deliverer? And would you forgive Give us God for not running to you immediately when we were crushed for not running to you immediately when we were betrayed for not running to you immediately when we were abandoned abused persecuted when someone struck our heart God forgive us for not running to you the healer the deliverer immediately forgive us for giving a place to the enemy for being ignorant to the devil's devices for not seeing the potential consequence of not submitting our heart to you for a cleansing for a healing for a deliverance in that moment of pain we were disoriented we were traumatized we were surprised shocked even so father forgive us your word tells us that the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit a broken and contrite heart oh God you will not despise so forgive us and cleanse us from the unrighteousness of trying to work out this issue in our hearts on our own Forgive us, Lord, for thinking that somehow forgive time us, Lord, that would heal the wound. Forgive us, Lord, for shoving us, the pain shoving below the pain surface, below not the surface. realizing that it will ooze out into other areas of our life and that hurting people hurt people. We don't want to be an agent of pain agent in someone else's pain, life because of the pain in our own life, oh God. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. You are good and you are a healer and you are willing to heal and deliver from the broken heart. Just like you healed and cleansed the lepers. Just like you cast the demon out of the boy with the epilepsy. Just like you raised the widow's son from the dead. You are able and you are willing to give us a truth encounter today. So we trust in you with all of our our heart we choose not to wall you out anymore God in the name of Jesus we will come to you because you are gentle and lowly of heart you set Jesus father to bind up the broken heart and to proclaim liberty to the captives and to open the prison to those who are bound so father in the name of Jesus we forgive all those who broke our hearts we forgive them we forgive them we forgive them in the name of jesus and we bless them and lord we ask you to forgive them for what they did to us the dirty deeds the nefarious ugh. jesus help us help us to truly forgive from our heart not just in our head but from our heart knowing that the emotions might not immediately change but it sets the stage for an inner healing for a deliverance 
that will set us free forever and make us well and whole again. Help us, Lord, to truly, truly forgive those who used us and abused us and accused us, lied on us, stabbed us in the back. We do. We forgive them from the depths of our heart in the name of Jesus. Father, now would you look upon our heart? Would you see the bruise? Would you see the wound? Would you see, Lord, the condition of our heart and would you bind up the broken heart, God? In the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, to bind up our broken hearts. In the name of Jesus, I take authority now over the spirit of the broken heart and I command you to come out of God's people. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of the broken heart and I command you to go now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, go set, God, set Jesus. God's people free in the name of Jesus, 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 set God's people free, set the Father's people free in the name of Jesus, 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 you do it, Jesus, you are the deliverer, you deliver by the power of the Holy Spirit at the will of the Father, and we know it is the will of the Father for the brokenhearted to be healed and delivered, so God, break in with light, force the enemy's hand, help us. Us, Lord, to break all agreement. Come on. We renounce agreement. Come on now. We renounce agreement with the spirit of the broken heart. We are not victims. We are victors. More than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Forgive us, Lord, for walking around as victims. We may have been uh, uh, victimized, but we are not We are not victims. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we renounce the spirit of the broken heart, and we repent for agreeing with the voice of the spirit of the broken heart. And now, heart. now you stubborn and devil, now, go in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of the broken heart to go I far from us in the name of Jesus. You spirit of the broken heart, come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out now in the name of Jesus and go free for good. Now, Father, pour out the healing balm of Gilead over the broken hearted God. Fill us to overflowing with your generous spirit, God. Help us to receive your love once again because your love it heals your love it casts out everything that doesn't belong if there's any other residue any other issues in our heart God we're asking you to deal with them swiftly deal with them completely deal with them directly in the name of Jesus God fill us to overflowing with your spirit because you are good Lord deliver us from all the residue of the past pain and give us joy unspeakable and full of glory in the name of Jesus help us to see you rightly help, help us, us to receive to your love help us to help love us ourselves receive your love and help us to love others once again. We tear down the walls that keep us bound in isolation. We say we will open our hearts. We will keep open hearts. We will trust again in the name of Jesus. Help us trust again in the name of Jesus. Help us trust again in the name of Jesus. Trusting you first and then trusting that you will lead us to the right people. And even if they break our hearts again, we will trust you for healing and deliverance once again because you are our deliverance. Deliverer. You are the lover of our soul. You are the God who binds up the wounds of the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. You are here, so we will not let our hearts be troubled, nor will we allow them to be afraid, nor we will allow them to be compromised by the pain of the past, but we will rise up and praise you with our whole heart, and we will we thank you even now for the deliverance, for the healing, for the, for the breakthrough that you brought to our hearts, so that we can love right again in Jesus name amen and amen Jesus amen doesn't need to break any where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there you got to control it. if not it's over a good human being a fulfilled human being doesn't need to break anyone down all they do is want to build you up so anybody you meet that calls you out of your name, that bullies you, that messes you up, that, that makes you feel not lifted. They are dealing with something deep rooted. When you quit, your mind says we're done. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics. I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. 
I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Stay hard. Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn what do you want in your life?